Welcome to Test and Code. This episode is titled Test and Code Returns. Maybe I should have replaced returns with reimagined, revisited, continued, expanded, focused, or something even more descriptive that could help me with the direction as I keep producing more episodes of this thing. This episode is a reflection of why I stopped in August of 2022. I'd like to also talk about where the podcast is going in the future, but I'm not really that sure, but I'll address it a bit anyway. I've got actually quite a bit of audio to edit from interviews ranging from last August to just yesterday. So my first order of business is going to get those episodes edited and out the door. It's not really fair to the people who took the time to talk with me to leave those in limbo. So what do we have? We've got, uh, well, the oldest audio is from Anthony Sotilli talking about what we'd like to change with PyTest if we could forget about backwards compatibility and stuff like that. The most recent uh, interview is actually Pamela Fox talking me through what it takes to get a web app off of your laptop and onto the cloud for the world to see. That was just this last week. That's super relevant right now as I'm working on a SaaS project idea, as I know many of you are also. Before that was Thomas DePierre in January of 2023, so just a couple months ago. He wrote an article called I Am Not a Supplier about some reaction to the supply chain thinking that around open source projects. I got to get that out. I know there's a lot of frustration on both the consumer and producer side of open source projects. I don't think we have an answer yet, but it's a good discussion. What else do we have? Um, there are some interviews I did in last last year about uh, changelog creation. We've got Soren about using GitHub releases for changelogs. Hinnick about Town Crier. Uh, we're going to talk about Scriv with Ned Batchelder. Scriv is uh, a tool that he built. I've been thinking about packaging a lot lately, and so along with changelog stuff, uh, in September I talked to with Brett Cannon about Trove classifiers. So I'd like to get all of those out as soon as I can. I'm probably not going to have a weird, a uh, fixed schedule for those. Just when I get them edited, I'm going to release them. But then what? What else? And why did we stop it for so many months? Let's uh, talk. Let's tackle the gap first. I finished the second edition of Python testing with PyTest in March of 2022. I wanted to get a course out based on the book, and I did end up releasing Getting Started with PyTest course um, on Talk Python training. I got that out on September of 2022. Then there's work, family, life, and everything else. I've got a full-time role as a lead software engineer. That means I'm an embedded C++ developer working with RF test equipment and a manager. Oh, and of course, we use Python for system testing and a whole bunch of other things. Then there's Python Bytes, which is weekly, and then the work on the course, and Tested Code Weekly. I'm also an antique dealer, but that's a different story. But with all of that, I wanted to do more. I've got notes down, and I'm going to start recording the full book of Python Testing with PyTest as an online course, possibly in parts matching the parts of the book. I've been doing PyTest training for small teams, up to like a dozen people or so in a, over remote in a series of 90-minute sessions. It's super fun and a really cool way to learn PyTest, and I want to do more of that. I also think it'd be nice to do some form of open enrollment cohort training, like those I do for teams, uh, but open to more people. I think that'd be fun. I've got notes and research for a SaaS project. SaaS as in software as a service, not a uh, some sort of compiling JavaScript thing. I'd like to get off this off the ground. Uh, this is one of those, I know people who have software needs and, hey, I'm a developer, why not solve it kind of things. So last fall, I had too much going on and something had to give. And unfortunately for you, it was test and code. I just needed to set something aside for a bit and catch my breath. But I think I'm ready to pick it up again but I'm tentative. It's probably not going to be weekly, but we'll see. I need this podcast to stay healthy for me. I definitely want to get all of the recorded audio that I have out to you. And then what? 
Well, I've been thinking about packaging a lot lately, so I'll probably talk about that. Uh, there's tons of people doing interesting things in Python and elsewhere in software and testing that I'd like to talk to. And I'm sure I'll learn a lot as I bring this SAS project along. There's a decent chance I'll ask Pamela or someone else from Azure or other services on to discuss the hurdles there. I want to bring on more people that maybe don't have answers, but have questions and try to get those questions heard in a wider setting. And we'll see. If nothing else, we'll have fun. And thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate it.